Where's Mr. Where's Mr. Where's he? There he is. Mr., I'm going to let you drive the car today. You get to drive the front seat. I'm going to grab this here, and I'm going to sit in the back seat. This here is the thinker. This is the guy. Maybe we should put you in the back seat. No. <laughs> this is the guy that's driving the car. This is our conscious mind, right? This is your cognitive, like when you're in a totally chill space. Okay, maybe it's not 13 years old for all of you. It's probably two years old for me. But this is the thinker, right? In the back seat is the body. Whatever the thinker says, wherever the thinker goes, the body follows because I'm in the back seat. And I'm driving along and I'm listening to the music and it's kind of hot inside the car. I'm like, hey, Dad. Dad, can you turn on, can you turn on the air conditioning? I'm dying back here. What does Dad say? No. no! What? Come on, Dad. What does he say? No. <laughs> you have learned well, my young Padawan. No. <laughs> no. He's like, oh, I'm driving here. Like, dude, I can't do everything you need to do. I got I to gotta keep us safe on the road. Like, I can't listen to all of your bickering. So I'm in the back seat, and I'm like, it's hot. Can I open the window, please? <sighs> dad hears. <laughs> what does Dad do? <laughs> oh! <laughs> It goes on for a while. Honey's in the right, right side seat going like, hey, um, I can't handle that, that stuff. It's like making my ears pop. <laughs> Dad, it's hot in the back. Dad, come on. Right? So I'm complaining about this. And Dad's like, whatever. And then Dad gets this crazy idea. He's like, dude, I got to do this big project. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go like, I'm going to go down this road. We're going to go for a long ways, but it's going to be worth it at the end. I'm bored. Dad, are we there yet? What's going on? I'm in the back seat all the time, like dealing my stuff. And if I'm fine and I'm totally happy, I'm good. I'm doing my crossword puzzles, digesting my food if I'm the body, right? <laughs> doing whatever else I need to do. But then I'm bored. Oh, I'm feeling a little car sick. Saya, where's Saya? He gets car sick sometimes, right? So, oh, Dad, I got to pull over. And Dad's just like, no, we got to get there. We got to do our thing, right? At a certain point, your body goes like this. I'm done. And then it just takes out the driver. And before long, dad's like over here in the front seat, like, ah. right? Ah. And I'm like, okay, I'll drive like this. His foot's on the gas. Somebody else get his foot on the gas. Let's go off-roading. That's way more fun. Somebody turn up the, can we open the window? Let's open the window, guys. Let's go. And so we're just off-roading like, boom, 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 boom. You know, we have a good time. Somebody else is using the gas, whatever. And we finally are like done, and we bumped a few things and whatnot. And we get done. Dad wakes up. We're pulling into the, the gas station like, he steps out. The left side of the car is dented completely. One of the hubcaps is missing. This tire is at a weird angle. And he's going like, not again. How did this happen? Like. What happened? How many of you have ever had that happen in your life? That happened to me this morning. Really? Do you want to elaborate? No, oh, okay. So like this happens all the time where your body says, "I'm bored." Or it says like, "I got to I got to do something." And it literally will just pow. I'm going. Let's go. I don't even care how fast he puts on the pedal. I'll just aim well. Right? And that's how it happens. Be it's a survival mechanism built into your body. Cognitive thinking takes a lot of energy. A lot of energy. And if you don't have to do it, that's why your body makes repetitive processes. It says, hey, dude, Lance, you've brushed your teeth how many times in your life? Look, we'll just memorize the pattern. You hit run program. You don't even have to think about it. I'll just do it for you. Your dentist is like, you suck at brushing your teeth. You're like, okay, I'll brush more. You brush it the same way, but just twice as much. He comes back, dude, you still suck at brushing your teeth. I know, I'm brushing them twice as much though. Because it's running the same old pattern, right? Same deal. It, because thinking takes a lot of energy. And if you're going to use all your energy for thinking, what are you going to use for your heartbeat? 
What are you going to use for your lungs? What are you going to use for digestion? Your body's super smart. So thinking takes a lot of time. So it wants to eliminate thinking as much as possible. And when I have to save my life, any energy that I'm not using to run as fast as I can from the cheetah is energy that I am, might die because I wasted somewhere else. So it just overrides the system. If you look at the actual spinal cord of a human body, Riley, stand up. In the back, right? Your spinal column runs this way, right? Well, up, down, however way you want to talk about it, right? It's a big tree. There's stuff coming off in all of the different ribs, right? All of them. And at each junction, there is a space where literally, instead of like, oh, I got data. Everybody says, oh, your, your body felt this information went all the way to my brain. My brain was like, that's dangerous. And then it goes all the way back and says, move your hand from the fire. And look how amazing the human system and has, how fast that goes. That's not actually what happens. Your body goes to the spine and the spine's like, crap. <laughs> and literally sometimes you do it. <laughs> not Riley, he's better than that, okay? But it goes crap and then it goes straight back out. There's no processing that happens, which is why later you're like, I don't even remember what happened because it shut off the cognition. Still recorded the information, but it was like, yeah, we're about to die, let's, let's get it now. And all along, every single vertebral process, there are four, from what I remember, four different places where there can be an override switch that hits with your sympathetic nervous system where it just literally overrides the entire thinking process and goes and just does something. So like someone hits here, boom, you're, it just goes. Like it's not like, it's not like, oh, well, I have to think about whether or not my fingers should fire or anything like that. There's no thought involved. Does that make sense?